Good morning. Welcome to Sacred Space. It is good to see you this day. It's actually cooler here in sunny Port Charlotte. Can't y'all tell? Oh yeah. <laughs> so um, we just had a helicopter fly over and I really love just being out here um, in the morning and just hearing all the different sounds, whether that, that are human made sounds, technology sounds, or just the sounds of God's creation. And so the birds are chirping in the background and um, hopefully the wind will blow. That would be amazing too. But we are grateful that we can gather in this space, that we can worship and we can meditate. And so I pray that God uses this time for you as a way to center you in your heart and your mind and your soul and that we are able to open our heart and mind and soul up into God's Word. Our scripture passage today is from Psalm 25 verses 1 through 9. Um, so you are welcome to follow along with us when we get to that time and refer back to that passage during your meditation time. I ask that you don't judge that meditation time, that you allow God to use that time and space in whatever way is needed for you today. So friends, let us open our hearts and minds to God and let us worship.
our scripture lesson from Psalm 25, verses 1 through 9. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exalt over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation, and for you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. And let us go into a time of silent reflection on God's word for us this day.
Let us pray. God, for this day, we give you thanks. We ask that you watch over us, protect us, and guide us. That you lead us to being your people in a deeper and more profound way each day. That you call us out into the world that is hurting and broken and allow us to be messengers of hope and peace and love. We pray that you show us the path forward and that it is your footsteps that we follow. For the beauty of your creation, for the sounds and the music that is in your creation, we give you thanks. So God, I pray that you continue to lead us forward, that you continue to lead us in a way that brings joy to the world. For all the hurt and brokenness and fear, we pray for your peace and your deeper understanding. And so God, lead us forward into being more compassionate and living a compassionate life with all your people. In your name I pray, amen.
from Psalm 25, verses 4 and 5. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. So friends, let us allow the Lord to teach us the Lord's ways. And let us do so with grace and mercy and love and kindness. Go out and be the people that God calls you to be. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, creator, redeemer, and sustainer of us all, go in peace. Amen.